Jim Bob, um, you know, obviously a lot of the guys on the at the wide receiver room have had big moments. Um, why do you think is there's been just a little bit off with A.D. Mitchell, um, whether it's A.R. or Joe Flacco? Yeah, I I, I think it's a, it's a great question. I think it's one of those sort of small sample size things. It's early in the season. Uh, different guys have sort of had big moments, big games like you've talked about. Uh, you know, we've had some really good plays being made out there, uh, especially in that receiver room. And, you know, for A.D., you know, you just look at his body of work individually. He's doing such a great job of sort of winning some of those one-on-ones and getting open and separating and, uh, you know, just just hasn't quite happened as often as any of us would have, would have liked quite yet. Um, I think a little bit of that is the flow of the season. A week or two back, I think I told you all, sort of trust me, AD's going to make some big plays for us this year. I still feel that way. I mean, he's he's out there competing and, and – uh, like I said, a lot of times as a, as a wide receiver, you know, you're doing one of a couple things. You're trying to win a one-on-one, -on -one, sort of get open, separate versus DB, or, or you're trying to sort of find that good spot to sit versus zone. Uh, you know, in this league, to go win a nice one-on-one -on -one, uh, at wide receiver, that's really important in this league. And he's doing that. He's he's out there executing his routes and, and sort of beating defenders and studying defenders as the week goes. Uh, that tends to pay off for a receiver in this league. And I think it will for AD. Uh, we'll keep working around here. It's, you know, September just turned to October, uh, October, and we got we got some work to put in. Um, but, you know, to, to, to AD's credit, uh, you know, when things don't quite go his way, you know, he keeps a positive attitude. He's showing up. He's working every day. He's putting in uh, sort of good work day after day after day. He's fired up as fired up for the win as, as all the rest of us, you know, so we're out here working, uh, the season kind of ebbs and flows and AD has been really professional, uh, with his sort of weekly attitude and weekly adjustments. And, you know, shoot, we, you know, we, 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 we like, we like those good routes that go and get open and we'll, we'll, we'll get some of the stuff cleaned up. And like I said, a little bit of small sample size stuff will turn that other way at a certain point. Nate. Hey, Jim, Bob, you, know, you guys got back to running Anthony a little bit more last week, but just curious, do you feel like he needs to slide more? Are there certain situations where you want to see that versus others? And how much room is there during the week when you're game planning to either work on a slide, practice it, think through that? What's that process like? It's, you know, I think even going way back through the offseason and training camp, uh, you know, we, we had a lot of discussions, you know, with you guys around the office, all that good stuff. We've sort of covered all the bases on this thing. It's, it's, you have to be careful, um, taking the competitiveness out of a great competitor, you know, and Anthony, when he's out there competing like crazy, um, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly working to coach all our guys. Anthony, obviously, being a key a key one of those guys, and we're talking through all the details of everything that's going on in the field. Um, but as as a as a coach, as a as a coaching staff, you know, it's it's a it's a delicate balance with us trying to sort of get the best ball out of those out of those guys and and sort of coach them to play their absolute best football. Um, you know, without without taking away that competitive instinct. So it's it's a constant discussion. Um, you know, obviously there's going to be uh, certain times when it pops up more than others. I think Anthony told you guys, he's out there playing football. Uh, it is a sport where, you know, you're going to take off and run. You might scramble, uh, on a play. You might move on a play. Uh, you're going to have to sort of instinctively act very, very quickly in the moment. Um, and, and, and sort of compete, right. Compete. So we'll, we'll keep having those discussions around here. We'll keep sort of talking through it. Um, but it's it's one of those just sort of sort of discussions uh, and 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 things where we're trying to be conscious of the way we we work with our guys. Joel, hey Jim Bob, what'd you guys see out of Tanner Bordellini? Yeah, Bort man, first game. Uh, he was he was he was damn sure excited to be out there. Uh, the the memorable sort of clip, the memorable experience was we you know we had that that opening drive touchdown, which was obviously a great drive by all our guys had a, had a lot of good plays in there. Uh, Bort came flying, flying off the field, running by everybody. Uh, he was, he was so excited, just sort of, he, he played a good drive. He had done some good things and uh, he was excited for the team. We're trying to get the GPS data on that top speed there. I think that would be his top speed of the, of the day right there. But um, 
Now he did some really good things, you know, for a young player going in, playing his first real game, first real action, uh, you know, for a young center, I'll, I'll sort of specifically dive in. Like, here come the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? That's a great defense. That's a great front. Uh, there's a lot of plays when you play the Steelers and, I'm, and you're a center, when you are covered up by a nose who's a good player and you're sort of battling play after play after play against a good player and a good front, uh, making some calls. Those guys make you make certain adjustments and identifications uh, that we ask sort of our centers to make. Uh, Bort did a great job, especially for for his first game. You know, he, I think there's some things he learned. There's some things he'll he got better as the game went on. Uh, but we're shoot, we were we were fired up that he was able to go in there and 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 sort of execute the role of the center. And you know, you didn't 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 see didn't see a lot of issues out there. You know, for a young player, I think the guys sort of worked well with him communicating, and all those guys were talking up front. Um, so it was uh, it was good to see him sort of sort of take advantage of his opportunity to go play fo good football. And and any, you know, any player out there in the NFL, uh, when you're not starting week after week after week, you get that opportunity, you want to go play good football. And and I think Bort did that. Now we'll we'll continue working with him and he's going to grow a bunch like all our rookies will, all our young guys will. Um, but we were pleased. We were pleased with Bort. George? Jim Bob, uh, it looked like it was kind of a unique motion with, with Josh Downs in the backfield a couple times on Sunday. Is this something you guys try to change up from time to time? And and how long has that one been a part of 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 your bag? Yeah, we've been we've been you know we've been messing around with it. There's certain you know there's certain motion rules in this league, but I think it's pretty much as long as you're not going forward when the ball snap, you can do all all the side to side stuff you can draw up. So uh, Josh has done a good job. Uh, kind of working through the process of trying all those things out with us. It's probably not the, you know, probably not the most fun thing to, in the world to do on half these motions. He's running all over the place and the ball's going somewhere else, you know, uh, but, but that does pay off for him uh, in the moment, like it just did. And, and sort of that, you know, working across the field, coming back out, uh, Josh, it's really not a lot different than running a route, right? You're running with pretty good speed. You stick your foot in the ground, you turn, turn and go the other way, uh, which he actually did twice on that, on that play, uh, in totality. Um, you know, there's just a lot of similarities to route running there. Um, and then ultimately you're going out there and you're running whatever route that is, and you're trying to get open. And, you know, he, he found a little, he found a little window in there and Flacco found him. Uh, and then, you know, the key part of that whole play, I think it wasn't the motion. It wasn't all that, you know, that's all, that's all fun and good to look at, but it was making a nice tough catch with, with the defender bearing down. Um, and Josh did that. That was that was that was cool to see. Uh, like I said, cool to see Joe find him in there. Just that little window. Um, so we'll keep experimenting with stuff. That's the the beauty of of our job is we're able to sort of take these, you know, these great players and take these take these guys that are really open to trying stuff and and see if we can't find a little bit of an advantage on a defense that way, uh, create a miscommunication or or something like that. And then we'll take our last question from JJ. Hey, Jim, Bob, I think I counted 14 times you had a tight end get their hands on Watt during the game Sunday. Like For that group to be as unselfish as they are, um, how has Mo Alley-Cox kind of set the tone in that room of like, hey, we're going to do whatever it takes to win, even if it means we're not going to get a ton of targets because we got to keep 90 out of the, the pocket? Yeah, what a what a what an unselfish group that tight end room is. They are they are all about the team. They are all about getting the win. Uh you know, last week at this time, you guys were asking me about T.J. Watt uh, and how good of a player he, how great of a player he was, uh, and how we had to sort of put together a game plan to maybe slow him down a little bit and give us the best chance to win. And you know, part of that game plan, at least last week, was, hey, tight ends, you you got to help slow him down off the line. You got to sort of work uh, work in in the best technique we can figure out for that particular week to slow him down off the line. It's going to be unselfish. It's probably going to be all of you. Um, and you may have to sacrifice, you know, running a great route after that in order to sort of help slow him down so the pocket's a little bit cleaner so the quarterback can maybe throw it somewhere else. Um, that group that group took on that, that task with great sort of enthusiasm and zeal. And, you know, the most fun part of that thing is, you know, Ogletree had one and – you know, that was a really tough assignment we asked of him there. He was he was really helping on Watt, and then he had to – boy, he had to bust it out of there and go run that route 
uh, because we had a little mesh play going with Pitt. And so that was probably the the most difficult one of the week where the, t- you know, Andrew Ogletree had to really, he had to really focus on the details of his job there. And he was doing it from a, you know, totally team oriented, unselfish manner. And just so happened that the Steelers happened to let him loose, drop him on that play. And he got a touchdown out of it. So it was really, uh, really, a, really a, 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 a pretty cool payoff for that room. Uh, you know, they put a ton of work in those guys are, you know, working, working their ass off and, and coach Tom Manning does a great job working with them. And, they're they're all about getting the win. You know, they're they're so fired up. We got our win and whatever it takes to do, whether it's uh, you know, sort of blocking, route running, all that stuff, uh, those guys are those guys are up for it. And and specifically you asked about Mo. Uh Mo really sets the tone in there. He's been he's been around here a while, right? He's seen a he's seen a lot of things. He's he's a you know, very, very respected. A vet in our locker room and vet just around the NFL and they'll talk to other guys they they really respect how Mo plays and how he how he carries himself and handles himself um that that room you know sort of every every room sort of rolls with the punches of its leader of its veteran of its you know respected vet uh and 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 couldn't ask for a guy to set a better example than Mo those guys show up every single day uh they work hard they learn their role you know sometimes we're dressing three or four of those guys and they have different roles and I'm sure sometime one of them wants to run a route that the other one's getting to run, you know, but, but they just show up and keep working and go execute the role and try to help, try to help the Colts get a win. And that's a, that's a cool thing to see. And it's a great, great room to work with. We love those guys.